I started running in my early 30s after my first daughter was born. But um, I ran on and off for uh, quite a few years basically and I did some half marathons in there and 5Ks. Uh, but I really picked up the running and did it diligently except for the cold ass upstate New York winters around 38 which is, which is two years ago. So I've gathered everything I've learned so far and I'm giving you my top 10 secrets to running at 40. Now number 10 is to wear quality footwear. When I first started running at like 31, 32, I just used whatever sneakers I had on hand at the time, which were probably from like Payless shoes or something. And they worked fine because I was only going running for like five minutes at a time, 10 minutes at a time. But a few years into it, when I was training for the New York City Half Marathon, I decided to buy actual running sneakers. And they were some kind of a white Instacani type sneakers. And I got them off Amazon. It was like a whole different world. I was able to go faster, and much longer than what I had been used to. And I realized that, no, you don't need expensive sneakers to run, but it definitely helps, and it definitely makes running easier on your legs and on your body. Now, you can go running without any footwear. There's a guy on my Monday Trail Run group who runs a barefoot and without a shirt. Now, I'm not that tough. I need quality footwear. My ninth tip on starting to run at 40 is to take the time to stretch and warm up before and after the run and even during if you need to. Now I'm totally guilty of not doing that. I just go for the run and then just stop and then that's it. And then I joined a free training group for a run that I did on, in July and the trainer there mentioned no you need to be stretching before and after. You can go so much longer and run much more often if you do that. My eighth tip on my top running tips for 40 is to don't compare yourself to others. Now I do this a lot. There are a variety of ages in all the running groups that I do. And many of them are like 20, 25 years old. And I'm constantly like, oh man, I wish I could get the same times that they do or have the same endurance that they, they do or, you know, or be in the shape that they are. And my husband's like, you're not. You're like 15, 20 years older than them, A. And B, the fact that you're even doing this is great. Keep going. Don't worry about what someone else is doing. My seventh tip on how to start running in your 40s is to have a healthy diet. This includes hydration, vitamins, your calorie intake, the type of foods you eat, just everything, anything that goes into your body and, and on your body as well. I used to roll my eyes anytime my mom would bring in all these vitamins and like practically shove them down my throat because she is a traditional Korean mother and a pharmacist so she was that much more persistent about nutrition and vitamins and whatnot and I realized I felt much better when I took the vitamins so I've been taking vitamins every day now. I also increased my water intake which has done wonders for my running and my skin. I keep a big bottle of water on my desk at work right next to me so that I'm constantly drinking it. I'm not next to a water bottle 24-7 at home, especially on the weekends since I'm in and out of the house. So I actually drink a lot less water on the weekends even though I'm running more on the weekends. When I do my Saturday runs, which is anywhere from like 3 to 5 miles, because I'm accidentally not drinking enough water like I do at work, I constantly feel hungover and sick every Saturday night. Number six on my secrets of a middle-aged runner is to get lots of sleep. So I'm a little bit of a night owl, so every weeknight, rarely do I get enough sleep or the sleep I should be getting for a runner because I get distracted by something at like nine o'clock at night and buy like YouTube or something absolutely ridiculous and then don't go to sleep until like 11 o'clock which is a big no-no for me. I should be getting more sleep than that. Yeah, they have the right idea. Go to sleep early. Number five on my top tips for a 40-year-old beginner runner is that it gets easier the more you do it. The hardest part is pushing yourself the first time or the first few times out of your comfort zone. 
Now, not to say that running in hot and humid weather is easy, because it's not. That sucks too. But it's easier to do that once you run a few times. Once you get over the hump of, I don't want to do it. Which brings me to my fourth secret about how to become a runner at 40, is to take baby steps. Just go for a walk. Just walk a few times. Just walk a bunch of times. The longer you walk and the more you walk, the easier it will be to go from walking to running. Every spring I go through this because I don't run as much in the winter time since it's cold and I live in upstate New York. There's a period of a month or so where like January, February where I don't run that much, if at all. And then come March, once I start running again, I'm like, oh my God, this is so hard. How am I gonna get through this? How am I gonna start running again? I gotta walk the dogs throughout the winter, you know, if it's not bitterly cold. And they get more frequent walks in early spring. The more I walk them, the easier it is to go from walking the dogs to let's do it, let's go for a run. Which is basically my number three secret to running at 40. You'll eventually go longer and faster. As I walk the dogs more often in the springtime, come like late April, early May, um, I'll realize, oh man, I can go a little longer and faster now. My second top tip for beginner runners is you don't have to be fast because I ain't fast. My mile time is like 11 minutes, 30 seconds or 45 seconds or something. You don't have to be fast to run. Just gotta run. I run three to five times a week and I'm almost always the last person in the group. By the way, I'm in my neighborhood now. I live at the bottom of a hill. So if I want a hill workout without really leaving home, I'll run around my neighborhood. Let's say, how big is this incline? It's a good incline. Not the hardest in my neighborhood, but pretty good. And now, my number one tip for how to start running at 40 years old is it's all mental. Well, like 95% of it is mental. Just do it. Just get off the couch. The hardest part is taking that first step and just doing it. Oh, there's a doggy. Hi, baby. You see the doggy? Here he is. I regularly run past him when I do my hill runs. Hi, baby. Okay, we're just gonna go over here. Now, as a source of motivation for you, I was not an athlete in high school. I mean, I wasn't like really out of shape or anything, but I didn't do sports. I never saw myself running, doing half marathons or anything. So if I can do it, you can do it. Just do it. Thanks for watching, listening to me babble on about running. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to see something specific, because I got a lot of ideas for videos I'm going to put up. Hit the subscribe channel and let me know what you think. Thanks. Let's go running now.